Rugby, rugby, rugby. It's a very popular game in um, the country I live in. And many other countries too. It's a very popular game, isn't it? Um, my rugby career began when I was 15, 16. I was in fourth year of high school. I just arrived at a new school, which was a very big rugby school, famous for it. And when I came to the school first, I made it pretty clear to anyone who would listen that I was not a rugby fan or a rugby player and that I wouldn't be playing rugby. I wasn't into it. It wasn't my thing. I, I play tennis. So one day, it must have been a Saturday morning. It was definitely the weekend. Um, I suppose it could have been a Sunday. They do probably play rugby matches on Sundays. I don't know. I don't know. Um, but I was hustled into a bus with a group of keen rugby want-to-be superstars um, representing the school on the fourths team, as in we were the worst team. <laughs> um, when I say we, it was their team, it wasn't my team. Um, I love my light. Let's see, can we get the light back on? There we go. Um, so I was hustled out. They must have given me a, a uniform and shorts or whatever because I don't think I had my own. Or maybe I did, maybe I had my own, probably did have my own sports top that I would have had to get for the school for any sports. And this day it happened to be rugby. So we get to this school in another part of Dublin, uh, another famous school for rugby kind of thing and for many other things as well, good and bad. And I find myself on the pitch. This is, you know, I don't remember much of it, but I remember certain parts, the, the, the critical parts I remember. I remember being put on the pitch and being told that I was a winger. Like this was supposed to mean something to me um, and make me feel good about myself. But I was told I was a wing, I was being put on the wing because I was very fast. I was always a very fast runner. It's true. And I remember getting the ball into my hands in the middle of, game was being played, game had started. And I got the ball in my hands and I ran forward with the ball and I threw the ball forward to the guy in front of me I could see. The whistle blew. Uh, you can't throw the ball forward, Mike. And I was like, uh-huh, uh-huh. And they just continued on, the game started again. They didn't, they didn't pay any attention to my attitude when I said, uh-huh, uh-huh, much. <laughs> So the game played on a couple more minutes probably or anyway, I got the ball again. I ran forward with the ball fast because I was fast. I was avoiding people. <laughs> what do you think I did again? <laughs> yep. I threw the ball forward to some player I could see he might not even have been on my team I didn't care that much that's how much I did not care um, and the whistle blew again and this time I was called off the pitch just told to go sit it out the rest of the game <laughs> I thought that was a very good idea <laughs> um, yeah so you see, I started, I had four or five years earlier to this when I was still in junior school. In the last couple of years of junior school, I got very into American football. I was watching it. I was getting a monthly magazine all about it. I was collecting fact files on players. I got really into American football from all sides of it. Um, I thought the... Um, 
I think the whole spectacle of the game with all of your ad commercial break ad advertising opportunities and the, the, the cheerleading and all that stuff, I think it's just nuts. It's not a proper sport, I'm sorry. Um, it's nuts. And where's the light gone? Seriously, it should be easy to find, shouldn't it? Oh, there it is. Oh, the car went off. The, the whole, okay, the whole thing shut down. That, that makes sense. It's energy saving. It's still not coming back on. No, that's no good. Maybe I should open the door and close the door again. And then start. No, still nothing. Oh, yeah, I got lights flashing now. Maybe this light will work. Will it? Will it? Won't it? No, it's still not working. Sorry. You can still see me. Who cares what you can see anyway? Um, it's you're listening to what I'm telling you. So in junior school, before high school, I was really into American football to the point that I had gotten my hands on a real American football genuine thing and I would bring this into school with me every day in the last year of junior school and we would play at lunchtime with a gang of kids our own version of throwing the ball catching the ball scoring touchdowns and it was brilliant fun but what I learned from my American football I always like to do a deep dive in something into anything since I was a small kid I would do this and my dive showed me the um, the danger of um, head injuries and concussions and things with the game. And even though they were wearing helmets and all padded up and everything, there's a lot of there's a lot of problems emerging. People still didn't want to talk about it, but it was um, whispers. And I'll tell you what, nobody ever wanted to talk about nothing like that regarding rugby. No, sorry. They did not want to talk about that. They probably still don't. I think they've been forced to accept and acknowledge the damage that is caused by playing rugby. Um, it's not good. It's not good, you know? And I knew this, you see? That's the thing. I knew this from my brief interlude with American football. Um, and so that's the reason that I was so strongly opposed to playing rugby it's a god it's like listen it's so similar isn't it in 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 a big picture way to rugby um they're both stupid games what is this stupid shaped ball come on get out of this town why don't you just start throwing rectangles at each other um triangles pyramids like it's just a ridiculous game Oh, lights on from the car beside me going away. Very nice. There you go. Floodlights, huh? Um, so, yeah, that was my rugby career. It is not a sport I support at all one little bit. Um, and I never would. For reasons I've just said, it's dangerous. It causes head injuries. It's damaging to the brain. I know a bit about brain damage. I'm brain damaged myself see another video tell you about all the scars I have with my multiple sclerosis but that's my rugby career um yeah but hey it's like people do what people do right and the mob is the mob and the mob like to be entertained by things like that it seems my kid was just away on an exchange to another country learning a language and the family that he was staying with as a as a as a treat for him i guess um and because he's coming from ireland they guess he must be into rugby so they brought him to a rugby match my kid has never even seen a rugby match in his life my kid has no interest in rugby he knows what it is but he has no interest in it but because we're irish because my kid is irish they reckon oh he must like rugby guess what i don't drink alcohol either and i'm irish you know so go figure